All right, here's what you what we we voted the best guitar solo of the 21st century according to Guitar World. The headline is that the winning guitar solo was recorded more recently than you think. What could it be? That's a picture of an SG, right? That looks like Greta Van Fleet. Last month we asked you to cast a ballot for your favorite guitar solo of the 21st century. The responses that came in were numerous and stylistically all over the map, but ultimately a clear winner emerged and it was released more recently than you might think. The best guitar solo of the 21st century according to your ballots is the extended electric guitar spin out that closes Greta Van Fleet's nine minute epic, The Weight of Dreams. Okay, I can't be the only one who's never heard this song. And I like Greta Van Fleet, but um, this is a bold statement, readers of Guitar World. <laughs> I wonder what the other submissions were. I wish they would have shown. They don't show in this article, like, the top five submissions. <laughs> Maybe this is the best guitar solo of the 21st century. <laughs> I do like that. <laughs> I wouldn't call it the greatest guitar solo of the century. It's cool. It's really cool. It's got a lot of staple licks in it. But I I don't know if I really I guess I do remember. The article goes on to say the solo beat out some impressive competition. I believe in a thing called Love by the Darkness, Tedesi Trucks, Polyphia, Velvet Revolver, Slipknot. <laughs> of course, there's a stab about them sounding like Led Zeppelin in this article. They can't avoid it. Sorry, boys. You guys are great, though. I've always been a Greta Van Fleet defender. But I will say, uh, what is the greatest guitar solo of the 21st century? I thought they were going to have options for us. They just gave us the answer. So I guess I'll take this opportunity to define what I think actually makes the best solo in a century. From a guitar player's perspective, how technically impressive is it? And I really do think of the last 23 plus years that Nuno Betancourt offering is like the most insane thing I think rise from extreme. Very popular, very hot right now. You know, there's been some things over the past couple decades that have taken the guitar world by storm, but they've been like riffs more than actual guitar solos where it's like, oh, you gotta get to this point in the song and hear the solo. I think Rise does that better than any solo has from a technical perspective, but if we're not just talking about technical, what about how memorable a guitar solo is, how popular it is? All I know is when John Mayer hits the first few notes of Gravity, every single person knows that guitar solo is happening and everyone can sing it. I think that might be the most popular, maybe the best guitar solo of the century so far. But you know what? I'm just gonna be honest. There's one guitar solo that I'm thinking of right now. Let me make sure it came out in... It would be so funny if it was like 1999. It came out in 2000! <laughs> I didn't know where this video was going. I was literally just planning to react, but I'm changing my mind on the fly. I'm going to learn this guitar solo. I already know it like by heart in my head. I've never tried to really play it. So I'm gonna learn it right now, play it for you and break it down why I think it's the best guitar solo of the century, maybe ever. So there are a lot of reasons to love this guitar solo. First, just listen to this opening phrase. It's just so awesome, this octave here. Alexi Lejo, the guitar player who played this guitar solo, Children of Bodom, frontman, huge Steve Vai advocate, a big time influence on him, and you can really see that with this octave displacement. The octave displacement lick that comes to mind for me when it comes to Steve Vai is this one from Die to Live. So you can see that octave displacement in this lick in particular as well. You know, without this octave here, if I just left that up here, this line would sound way lamer.
as opposed to Now as we move on here, we get into the G minor pentatonic sound, and this is really rare for Alexi Leho. You know, he's not really a traditional pentatonic shredder guy, but that's my favorite kind of, you know, I grew up in the school of Kirk Hammett, so I love when blues gets into metal, and that's probably why I think this is the greatest guitar solo of the century, because it just speaks to me. You know, guitar players who have the chops Alexi has, you know, very few guitar players can make the pentatonic scale sound interesting and unique. Steve Lukather comes to mind, Joe Satriani comes to mind, but what starts as a traditional blues lick That is not normal for the pentatonic sound. Obviously this is from natural minor. You can hear that that ninth sound. Uh, it's really nice. We have the foundation in our ear of the bluesy sound, but when you add in that modal note the intention of the guitar solo changes, and especially when this descending run happens. You know, all these notes we're used to playing. Just the way Alexi Leho plays them, and, and when, and how, uh, all contributes to why this phrase is so great, because it ends with this thing here. The little pentatonic. And we're going up two whole steps with this. Be careful. I'm on a Floyd Rose. How do you think I feel? And as you come back down from that bend. That is such a beautiful blend. We have right down the minor pentatonic. And then up this E flat major sound. And then here's our nine again. This this note is really a highlight of this solo. And when I say nine, just listen to this suspension. On its own, it's it's a little uncomfortable, but it's so good in the mix. And finally, my favorite phrase of the whole solo, I mean. It's such wankery, but it sounds so good when Alexi Leho does it. I'm not quite up to his speed. I'm doing some pull-offs and trying to get the alternate picking happening, but it's really about the attitude, right? And it's just six note phrases and triplets on the pentatonic sound. And you know, the context of the solo in the song, just the harmony of it, these are all contributing factors to why I think it's the best of the century. But of course, this is subjective. <laughs> Please let me know what you think is the best guitar solo of the century and why you probably disagree that it's a Greta Van Fleet guitar solo as great as those guys are. By the way, no exaggeration, Greta Van Fleet live unbelievable experience. Anyway, Alexi Leho, a great one. Lost him too soon. Maybe this video will help his memory live on a little bit longer. Until next time, keep shredding.